Hey everybody, it's Positive Bluebird. I was just going to show you this mini clip of um, what I just came up with. <laughs> and I kind of pulled a MacGyver here. This is an old um, hook that would have my son's EpiPens attached on both sides here in the grooves. Um, when you go to the pharmacy, they would give you like a two-pack um, so that you can take one to the school and one for home or one to the other parent. And I've always kept them because I thought they would come in handy someday. And look at that. I just took some wire and cut a piece and wrapped it around the edge here and then connected it to the basket that's holding my glue and whatnot. And then put a little hot glue here. It's cooled down because it's going to be kind of like um, rubbery so that this little basket doesn't slide off. And so this is kind of a go-to basket. So I'm, when I'm working on lots of projects up here and I don't have enough room, um, I can reach for like maybe my scissors maybe a ruler or some you know smaller amounts of paper that I'm working with and there you have it and then I would just probably take the basket off um, and then go to my room and put things in here that I uh, need right away so it's always good to have organization like right now I'm using this bag um, that's got everything in it of what I'm incorporating with my fairy project here you guys already saw a part of the fairy notebook um, so stay tuned. I'm going to have more to that edition of the uh, fairy door that's going in the little pouch here and decorating the outside of this um, pocket letter and pen pal notebook. So but anyway, I just wanted to show you that I've been kind of organizing underneath here. That's part of my Fix It Friday. At some point, um, I need to get some more super glue because I think the one I have is dried out. But that's the Wicked Witch. There's her head because it fell off of a shelf. Um, and then I was going to show you guys with this fairy project. Well, let me show you what I found. Okay. <laughs> I tend to forget that I have things in my room. And this is an old soup container, those little venti soups. And I had burned some holes a while back and I just put the zip tie at the top. Um, and so I hang it up and there's some washi tape and I decorated it, of course. I decorate everything. Um, just ask Becca. <laughs> but anyway, on the inside I forgot I had picked up these beads. Um, Anyway, somebody just interrupted my video with a, a scam call. I've been getting them so much on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I found these beads that I forgot I had purchased in a bag a very long time ago at Michael's Craft Store. They are kind of peach and pink. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I found heaven. Look at this. So I'm going to definitely incorporate all of this into the notebook here. Um, oh my gosh, look. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. So you guys are kind of getting a little bit of a sneak peek of what I'm going to be putting on the outside. Um, I thought I saw one with a, a key and oh my god, there it is. Look! <gasps> this is going to be perfect with this project. I did not plan this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all of this. Look at these little fuzzy ones. I'm in heaven. I'm in, in utter heaven. Look at this one. I forgot about these beads. They've been in this container, you guys, for probably a year, if not longer. Waiting for me to use. Oh my gosh. Now this, sadly, is an old bracelet that broke a long time ago. It was very, very old. My mother had given it to me probably about 18 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, so I will incorporate some of these. I'll pull them off the old string and I'll incorporate some of these as well. I have used a couple of them in some other projects. So 
Okay, guys, there's your little sneak peek on that. So stay tuned for more of this project. I'm really hoping that it will be done by tomorrow, Saturday, if not sooner. But I just wanted to show you also my, my little MacGyver move here. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday and a good week. And there you have it. Peace out and stay positive, guys.